because uh, I've been getting lots of like similar sort of things where like I'm just like reading about like uh, how God blesses you and stuff and uh, it's interesting I didn't really think of it this way before but um, I'm hearing this in like a song that I heard this this rapper called Justice and he does like Christian songs that are actually really good um, and I don't usually like rap but um, they're good um, yeah uh, and uh, I get stuff from that and like reading this, like, uh, book of promises I have, a book of, like, God's promises, um, it's, like, the ones surrounding the blessing and stuff, it's, like, um, trying to, there's, like, always this sort of, like, tie-in, where, like, your, uh, your tithes are, like, your, uh, first fruits of your harvest, you know, basically, like, uh, a portion of your money, it used to be, like, 10% in the Old Testament, but basically, you give, you give that to God, honestly, all your money is technically God's to use if you're a follower of Jesus, so you have to be open to, you know, all of that. So, I'm just, like, seeing this consistently lately, and a lot of people think, well, what does that mean? Do I have to, like, go to church and, like, put my offerings in the plate or whatever? Um, I don't believe so. Um, I think maybe if you feel that your church is, in-person church is doing good work, and, uh, you want to support that, sure, if you feel God's leading you to, but I think that God could lead you to just help someone in general who needs help. Or he could have you invest your money towards something that you could use that would be used to glorify him. Um, and so I've, you know, I've, I've had that with like some, some things like my computer and stuff. Um, but uh, I'm starting to see like, like I'm having dreams and stuff about uh, a certain place. Um, also, uh, another one where it was like uh, I saw I saw like Jeremiah or something, and there was like a it was like showed like a ring finger, and uh, there was a ring on it, and uh, the dream said, "Don't get married." Like, I, I looked up, like, Jer Jeremiah marriage on my phone, and, uh, it says, don't get married in this place, like, to Jeremiah, um, which would be, like, uh, don't get married in, like, Jerusalem or, you know, um, and so, it didn't say necessarily that he couldn't get married, like, he might have married some Babylonian woman or something, uh, but it doesn't really specify, um, but basically, um, I'm like, okay, so I've, I've been, like, before this, I've been getting, like, indications, and it's, like, so, like, I, I basically had, like, everything happen at once, and my neighbors, like, coming at me, complaining that I walk too loud, that uh, each time I close my car door, it's like a bomb is going off, and I'm like, that is such a gross exaggeration, um, it's, like, it's, like, absurd, and I'm like, you know, you can't tip, you can't, like, people are all going to have their triggers, right? And it's their responsibility to deal with their triggers to an extent. Like, if I'm not being absurdly loud, and I'm not, um, I'm just walking in my house, and I close the car door like a normal person closes the car door. Um, so it's like, you're going to have to learn to deal with it, basically, but... It's, like, stuff like that. I'm getting, like, signs that it's time to move. And so I I was, like, looking into, like, the housing market and stuff. Um, talking to some guys in Discord and stuff. Uh, started to learn some things. And uh, the guys in Discord are like, yeah, don't buy a house now. Uh, interest rates are crazy. Uh, they're waiting for, like, the bubble to burst, you know, for interest rates to drop in order to get a house. Um and then I had another guy say he would never get a house because, like, especially now with, like, these end times, you never know when you might have to get up and go. Um, and 
That's a very good point. But also, it's just like, it's hard to get stuck somewhere when you're following God because it's very likely that he could just lead you somewhere else. And so, like, if you were to get a house, you'd really have to pray about it first because, like, that would imply that he wants you to stay there for, like, years. Which is, uh... Sometimes God just has you do things that the whole world thinks is crazy. Um, um, yeah, and that, that's kind of like, like I've got, the place I'm at now, it's like the rent is insanely cheap. Um, and uh, like, there's some work that's been put into it. Um, like, new carpeting and stuff that like I paid for and stuff. But... It's, it's like, well, if I feel called to go somewhere, then I have to go somewhere. And if I can't bring all the stuff that I have, then I don't know what's going to happen to all that stuff, but it's going to go somewhere. Um, I can't I can't bring it all. Um, everything that I that I take with me is going to go into my, uh, my car, which is small. Um, so that would include my cats. Uh, they're coming with me. <laughs> Uh, remember, uh, I, I posted, like, that one video, like, I'm heaven sent, don't you dare forget, and when I was contemplating my cats, and I was praying to God, I was like, well, what about the cats, and, and then I, the thought came to my mind, I'm heaven sent, don't you dare forget, and I'm like, I didn't, like, I just randomly picked a picture online when I put that video up, and there was a cat on it, and he's, like, saying, no, the cats are, they're heaven sent, they're for you, <laughs> like, that's funny. <laughs> Uh, they are they are like a great joy to me though. Uh, Rem is a sweetheart, and Rom is uh, she's a bit shy to me, but she likes to come up to other people. And then Rem is like scared of other people, but Rem is like obsessed with me. So I'm not really sure why they they're they've just got their their different quirks, I guess. And they have to be together because they're sisters. And I didn't want one cat to be alone while I was at work. So, basically, I'm, I'm seeing signs and stuff, like I had a dream to go to this certain place, um, and I'm starting, like I saw, even the day before I had the dream, um, I saw a code that said, like, I'll see you in paradise, so I, at the time I thought, okay, well, that's just about, you know, heaven, like, I, you know, that's how I see things, like, oh, that's cool, I got, I, I sometimes I see things and I'm like, well, is this a sign from God? It kind of feels like it. Um, and not everything is a sign from God, but I think when you put things together, a lot of times it can be. Um, at least that's how it is for me. I guess it's not like that for everyone, but it seems to be for me. Um, like paradise, and this place is basically like paradise that I would be moving to. Um, it's beautiful.
know, Chris Jericho, break the walls down. <laughs> yeah, um, uh, so, I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna go with this, um, I mean, there were some other things that I didn't mention, because I'm, it could be sooner than I think, and it could be a few months, but I don't think it's going to be longer than that before I'm out of here. Um, and so I, yeah, I'm, it seems to be between two things. Like I, like I, I'm getting kind of like pulled both ways, and I'm trying to figure out which is true. Um, I'm leaning towards sooner rather than later, though. Um, but we'll see what happens. I'm gonna have to get information. I'm gonna have to plan all this stuff a little bit, even though like planning is not fun. Um, I'm like, I, I think there's something fun about just like getting up and going, but there there is obviously some planning involved. Um, like, and I've I've got money saved up. But, yeah, I was I was wondering why it seemed like God was pointing me to get a house at first, but then he was having me invest money. I'm like, well, why would I invest money if I was going to get a house? Like, that doesn't make any sense at all. And, uh, again, that, that one dream I had, I that was not accurate. Because, like, I even when I posted it, like, right after I basically commented, yeah, this doesn't make sense. But I felt the need to share. Parts of it were, were like, the, the part about telling your friends to repent when, um, they're swearing too much and stuff like you basically you have to stand up to your friends that part was true but no I don't think we're in the great tribulation or the tribulation whatever I was saying um, so yeah sometimes sometimes you gotta evaluate some things before you post things and that yeah, I think we all know that um, but when you're a youtuber sometimes you just feel like the urge to do something now and then you think about it you're like oh that was wrong yeah, so I don't, I don't think we're there yet, um, but some of the things I said were definitely true, like, it's, like, weird that you can't talk about certain things without things, like, uh, shutting down, um, yeah, but, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to just follow the promptings and stuff, it's, and also, another thing, I, I learned that my, my uncle, who is from the same place is visiting like like for like for Christmas this year and I'm like oh so it's kind of funny that like everything is kind of like seems to be leaning towards the place that I'm moving to um, it seems that way like consistently and uh, I mean there's a there's like an all time low song that kind of points to it that kind of yeah um, there's, there was something else today that happened, kind of thing. It was, oh, it was, I, I was, like, at, at the gym. Normally my, my earbuds, they charge, right? Um, and they weren't charging in the case, and I was trying to figure out why they weren't charging in the case, and I think I was supposed to hear some of the songs that were playing at the gym. One of them is like, you know, It's My Life, you know, the Bon Jovi song, you know, It's Now or Never, like, basically, like, I, I have, like, it's hard because you love your family, right? Like, I love my family, my family's great, um, but it is hard when they don't understand you, um, it's, yeah, but I, I appreciate all the efforts they put, like, my, they, they help me so much, um, and they still do, and they always will, even if I move, they'll still, they're still gonna find ways to help me, they always do, um, because that's just how they are, um, but it's, it's hard for them, because I'll be so far away, um, and that makes them sad, you know, um, like, I think if they had their way, then I would still be living at the house with them, like, that's how my parents are, you know, like, they're like, oh, just, just, like, come with us and save up money, and, you know, it's, it's not a bad idea in theory, but it's, like, 
there are reasons why I can't do that. Um, I like my independence now. Um, I never know who could start to use them against me. Um, and that's, that's another reason why it's just it's better for me to be alone. Um, you do... It's, it's just tough because sometimes sometimes some people don't understand what you're doing even if they love you um, they can almost be like against you um, against God's calling in your life like like this is an extreme example and I'm not, I'm not calling my, my family Satan but um, Jesus when like Peter Peter's intentions were good for Jesus he's like no you're not gonna die you're not gonna die and Jesus tells him, get, get, get behind me, Satan. Like, and that's, that's Peter. That's, that's like Jesus, you know, one of his best friends. Um, and he's saying that to him. So you can be a believer, you can be a family member and still come against somebody. I can come against people that I talk to and be the voice of, of like, uh, evil to them. It's like, and, uh, that's, it's pretty crazy. I'm just realizing this, though. Like, like you can have Christian friends who can make you fall under condemnation, and then, like, your heart will drop, and you'll feel like Satan is attacking you all of a sudden because of something they said, one of their beliefs that are actually not correct or not relevant to you. Um, so we have to exercise wisdom and discernment, even with Christian brothers and sisters, because they don't know what God is telling you. They can give their advice, but their advice might honestly come against what God is telling you. Um, because they are not you. Uh, they have their wisdom that they've applied to their situations in the past. But your situation might be completely different. Um, yeah. Um, I think we always have to be on the out for like what's actually his voice and just because you're getting Christian counsel doesn't mean it's the right counsel for you in your situation it can be but it's not guaranteed that's why you have to pray fast um, I mean fasting is, is criminally underrated um, I consistently come out with um, revelations are reminders that I'm going the right way when I do that. Um, and I know you're, like, when you, like, sometimes, sometimes I'm doing it and I don't mention it. Um, because you're not really supposed to mention when you're on one. Like, the only time I, I mention it is if someone's, like, offering me food and I have to explain why I won't eat it. Um, and that's like, I'll try to avoid even doing that if I can. But you know, if they're like, you have to, you have to, you have to, and I'm like, no, I can't, uh, then you have to explain why. Um, but if you could just kind of say, no, thank you and get away, then go for that. But, um, yeah, um, I think that's a good exercise to, to try. Um, if you're a believer, if you never really do that, then try it. Um, and yeah, uh, so I, I could, I could be somewhere else in a short amount of time, or up to a few months or so. Or I mean, I, I assume I am. I just assume I feel the calling. Um, I don't think I'm going to be here much longer in this city um, and state. I think it's time to go. Um, particularly, I mean, when you think about it, like if you're not going to get married in the, in the city that you're in. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, it'll be good. Um, I, I'm enjoying being by myself and stuff, um, but I, I've got friends on Discord that are amazing friends, uh, 
like honestly the best friends that I could have but everyone is like got some people in Texas got some people in Ohio got some people all over the place West Virginia all over the place and that's that's my church uh, those these people are they know what's going on their hearts are right with God they 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 just you know they're to me they I connect with them better if I go to an in-person church there's like you're gonna have a whole two different worlds it's like you know, I'm, I'm from this perspective and they're from like this perspective and it's like two different worlds um, I'm not saying I won't necessarily find an in-person church down there I, I'm leaning that I won't but um, we'll see what happens it'll hopefully be a more conservative area um, in some ways um, but we'll see we'll see what happens just feeling the calling um, yeah God bless you all and have a fantastic Saturday